The movie begins with a boy looking for his brother, Duquette, at a party. A girl tells him that he is in the room, and then he sees his brother Duquette, who looks like he is not feeling well. Duquette tells his brother that their father told him that he has hurt a lot of people, but Duquette's brother says that their father is dead, and then Duquette's brother says that he is not who he is. Duquette's brother is trying to take him away, but everyone at the party starts filming him. Duquette's brother tries to stop everyone from filming, but then Duquette's brother suddenly stabs his brother and kills himself. The scene then shifts, and we are introduced to a girl named Mia, whose mother has been dead for two years. She doesn't talk to her father much either. Mia then goes to pick up a boy named Riley, who is the brother of her friend, Jade. They seem to be good friends. On the way, they see an injured animal. Riley says that they should help it, but Mia says that it is too badly hurt and will not survive. They leave it there and go on their way. Mia takes Riley to her friend Jade's house and tells Jade that she forgot to pick up Riley. Jade is busy on the phone with her friend and doesn't pay attention to her. Mia then shows Jade a video from a group chat. It is a video of a girl, and it looks like it has been staged. Mia says, we should go there and see if it's true. But Jade doesn't believe it. She says it's all a lie. Mia then tells her friend Jade that she misses her mother very much. Her mother has been dead for two years. She asks, can I stay at your house? Jade agrees and lets her stay at her house. Then, Jade's friend Daniel calls, and we learn that Daniel used to be with Mia, but they broke up, and now he is with her friend Jade. Mia, Jade, and Riley then go to a party. The party is the same one that Mia had shown Jade a video of earlier. In the video, there is a game that people play, and when they play it, they start acting strangely and seem to be possessed. Mia shows Jade a video of a boy who plays the game and is possessed. Mia believes in the game, but Jade thinks it is a hoax. They arrive at the party, and Daniel, Jade's friend, also shows up. They all start playing the game. Mia says that she wants to play the game. In the game, the person who is playing is tied to a chair, and they do the same to Mia. They tie her to the chair and tell her that the game is only 90 seconds long. No more. Mia asks why, and the boy says that if it goes longer than 90 seconds, the spirit will stay inside her and she will die with it. Everyone laughs, thinking it is a joke. The boy lights a candle and takes out a hand structure and puts it in front of Mia. The other people start filming, and the boy tells Mia to put her hand on it and say, talk to me. Mia does so, and she sees the spirit of an old man. She is scared and starts to panic. Everyone laughs at her, and the boy says, that's what happens, and tells her to say, I will let you in. Mia puts her hand on it again to prove them wrong and says, come inside me. The strange spirit enters her, and Mia is possessed. She starts laughing strangely and then looks at Riley and says, do you like me? She tells him to run away, or she will kill him, and starts screaming. Riley is scared of Mia, but then the 90 seconds are up. They try to pull the hand structure away. Because it is a medium, a way for the spirits around them to not contact them and enter them. As soon as they pull the hand away, Mia wakes up and laughs and says that she had a lot of fun doing it. They all go home. Riley, who is scared, comes to Mia and falls asleep. He asks how she liked playing the game. She says that she had a lot of fun and it felt like she was somewhere else where she could see and hear. Then Riley asks her about her mother's death. She tells him that her mother accidentally took too many sleeping pills. The next morning, Jade throws a party at her house at Daniel's request because Daniel and the others, except Jade, wanted to play the game. Jade's mom is also going somewhere, so it was a great opportunity for them. There are two boys with the hand structure, and Riley, Mia, Jade, and Daniel at the party. Then Mia asks them about the hand, where did they get it? They say that it is a ceramic hand and if you break it, a real hand will come out of it. The boy also says that it was the hand of someone who could talk to the dead. Then Daniel asks where did you get this hand? The boy says that a friend of his gave it to him and avoids the question. Then Daniel plays the game and becomes possessed and starts behaving strangely. He talks to Jade in a very strange way. The rest of the people are making his video. Daniel then falls to the ground. Then they pull the hand from him because the time was up. He wakes up. Everyone laughs at him and he walks out of the room. Then Mia plays the game. And says don't make any videos now. 
They all play this game in turns. They were having a lot of fun doing this. After playing the game for a long time, they were about to close it, but Riley says that he wants to play this game again. His sister Jade forbids him from playing because he was still young and this game could be dangerous for him. Mia says that we will make this game 60 seconds for Riley, but Jade refuses and walks out of the room. Riley persuades Mia. Mia allows him to play this game for 50 seconds. Riley plays the game and Mia's mom's soul enters him and she apologizes to Mia by saying her name. Mia realizes that it is her mom's soul. 50 seconds pass in that time. Mia stops them because she wanted to talk to her mom more. But the time goes too much and Riley goes out of control and starts banging his head on the table, which makes him very injured and he is about to pull out his eye. But Mia stops him. Then Riley goes away and falls on the window and starts banging his head on the table. Then Jade comes into the room and holds Riley and calls the ambulance. Then we see that the police have come to Jade's house. Jade tells her mom everything for investigation. Then Mia's dad brings her home and asks her how all this happened. But she does not answer and leaves. Mia had brought the hand structure with her. Then Mia goes to the hospital to see Riley, but Jade and Jade's mom tell her to go away because they understand that all this happened because of Mia. Then Mia sees her mom's soul in the hospital and chases them. Mia hears her mom's voice coming from the bathroom, calling for help. But when she opens the door, there is no one there. Then Daniel comes to her, seeing her crying, and takes her home. Mia tells Daniel to stay at her house because she doesn't want to be alone. Daniel agrees. Mia says that maybe her mom wants to talk to her, so we should play the game again, but Daniel refuses. Then they go to sleep. At night, Mia has a dream in which her mom and dad are there, and they have blood on their hands. She wakes up in a panic and sees a woman eating Daniel's foot. But when Daniel wakes up, it is Mia who is eating his foot. Daniel is scared of Mia and leaves. And here we learn that Mia is connected to the spirits that are also appearing to her. Then she plays the same game and sees her mom's soul. She asks, Mom, why did you kill yourself? But her mom says that it is all a lie and her mom tells her that Riley needs help. Saying this, Mia falls asleep with her mom's soul. On the other side, when Jade is cleaning Riley, Riley cuts Jade and falls down and starts banging his head against the wall. Here the boy's words come true who said that if the time in this game is too long, then the soul takes control of that person and tries to kill that person. Then all the friends gather and discuss. Mia tells that she sees her mom's soul. Then the boy says that he got this hand from Duquette, who was his friend, and he also saw such spirits as Mia sees and tells that he stabbed his brother and died himself. Which we saw in the start of the movie but Duquette's brother survived. Then all the friends go to meet Duquette's brother. Duquette's brother tells them that the more those spirits come in him, the weaker they will become. They will leave him with a lot of time. But Jade says that those spirits are doing a lot of bad to Riley, they will kill him. Then Jade comes to know that it was because of Mia that Riley played the game for two minutes and he reached this condition. Jade tells Mia to stay away from my family, but Mia explains to Jade that when Riley was playing the game, we forgot to blow out the candle, due to which that soul did not leave him and says that we will play the game again and we will save Riley. Jade, Daniel, and Mia go to the hospital, then they hold the cinematic hand to Riley. But nothing happens. Then Mia does it herself and a child's soul comes in front of her and she tells him to take me to Riley. The child agrees and shows her the same Riley who is trapped in the middle of many spirits. He is screaming because those spirits are torturing him. Mia is scared to see this and wakes up and tells Jade that they will not leave her. Then Mia comes home. Her father reads her mother's last letter to her, which tells us that her mother committed suicide. That means they took their own life. His father had kept this a secret so that Mia would not be sad, but Mia sees her mother's soul which says that this is not true and your father is lying. Then Mia talks to her mother's soul. Her mother's soul tells her that they are not your father. They are lying to you and want to hurt you. Then a soul comes to Mia in the form of her father and starts strangling her. Mia kills them, but they are not souls, they are her real father. Who came to save Mia after hearing her noise. Then Mia's mother's soul tells her that we have to kill Riley, only then those souls will leave him. Then Mia calls Jade, Jade tells that Riley is now recovering. Mia tells Jade to come to her house. Jade reaches Mia's house, 
but she is surprised to see the condition of Mia's father. On the other hand, Mia goes to Riley in the hospital and is about to kill him, but she cannot kill him. Then she sees the soul of an old man again there. Then Mia takes Riley to the road, where she pushes Riley onto the road. So that his life is free from that soul. But she was scared to do that. But Mia's mother's soul comes from behind and here we know that she is not her mother's soul but an evil soul, who has come in the form of her mother. She provokes him to do so. Just then Jade comes. By pushing Mia, she saves Riley and Mia has an accident. Then Mia is shown in a hospital and there we see that Riley is now fine. Then Mia sees the soul of her father, she chases them, but it gets dark all around. Then Mia sees a light in a hand. She shakes hands and sees that a group of boys is playing the same game and Mia has now come in front of them as a soul because she was dead. And the movie ends here, how did you like this movie, do tell us by commenting. And do subscribe to our channel.